Here on the Frank Beckman Show on News Talk 760 WJR, one of the organizations in this area near and dear to my heart is the For the Kids Foundation. It's actually the Utuma Foundation for the Kids, and they deal with kids who have lost a parent. And not only through normal, you know, sickness, natural death, and so forth, but with an emphasis on kids who have lost a parent to crime. In other words, somebody has been killed. And they are special needs kids. Not that it, not that they need uh, special schooling or anything, but their emotional, let's say, health is dependent upon a number of things once that happens to them. And uh, Norman Yatuma is well aware of that, having had that situation himself. Norman, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, John. Hey, this fundraiser that's coming up is, as I said before we took the break here, uh, it's a real hoot. That's all I can say about it. It is a fundraiser for a very serious organization that is so much fun because of where the money's going that I would recommend it to anybody. Oh, that's good of you to say. It is a real hoot. Hoot McInerney, in fact, has been a real big part of this event, and he's coming back this year, and he'll be... uh... He'll be a hoot again. We do a lot of great stuff at this event, and uh, when I say we, I mean really folks more capable and more talented than me. But we've got a, a, a great auction, a great dinner event. It's this Saturday at the Townsend Hotel. It starts at 5 p.m. Uh, we're auctioning off trips to Thailand. Uh, you can go to Sonoma and check out Tom Chalani's vineyard in the package he's <laughs> graciously donated. The Simone Vitale Band's auctioning off their band, if you can believe it. They'll do your wedding or corporate event. You take a trip to Vegas, have a Red Wings package from Ted Lindsay and from Dan Cleary. We've got a lot of terrific stuff. A chance to golf in, in one of the world's premier courses at Oak Hill in New York. A lot of terrific stuff. It's a great opportunity to have a lot of fun with friends and family and to raise money, all of which is going to our kids who have lost a parent. Plant Moran audits our books and confirms that after the event expenses are paid, 89 cents of every dollar goes directly to our kids to help them with grief counseling, help in the home. We're rebuilding homes for kids. We're, we're making places that are uninhabitable, habitable. We're providing cars to widows or widowers. Uh, we're sending these, these families uh, to Disney World or Cedar Point and providing mentors and tutors for these kids. We're putting food in the fridge and clothes in their backs. It's a, it's a really it's a great organization that's doing a lot of good work for kids who desperately need the help. And it is Utuma's foundation for the kids, not because of me, but because it's dedicated to the memory of of my father. It was founded in his name and in his memory, and, and it's carrying on a lot of the legacy that, that uh, he started before he passed. One of the things that the 89% figure speaks to is the uh, efficiency of your organization, but it speaks even bigger to the people in the community, because that's why that figure is so high, that so that you don't have to pay for the trip to wherever you said, you know, I forget. Uh, it when things like this are donated, then that allows you to go ahead and get the majority of the money raised into the hands that it deserves or into the causes that it uh, deserved to get it. And you're to be congrat that That's a heck of a figure. I did not realize that. Yeah, you're right. It really is uh, more than the Tumas Foundation for the Kids. In a lot of ways, it's the community's foundation for the kids. We get a lot of stuff donated. You know, on occasion, we do get things on consignment where the donor will get a small fee in consideration for his or her donation but all the things that i just rattled off to you are, are all free and clear donations a lot of things are donated to our kids in kind as well that that provide help for them when people are unable to write checks uh, they provide their resources or their time people have been really extraordinary and we have uh, very few people on payroll we have really very little overhead so we're able to give a lot of money to the bottom line the bottom line is to help these kids because they just simply can't help themselves, and they're in an unusual position of not having both parents, in some cases not having any parent, to help them otherwise. I would assume, and maybe I'm over-assuming here, uh, I would assume that Paul W. Smith will have something to do with the ceremonies? He he does, and he has every year. He's always graciously been our MC, And uh, this year, actually, he's also our champion award recipient. Every year we pick someone from the community who has really gone above and beyond and the extra mile for the foundation and uh, folks like Mike Feasy, you know, the old GM over at WJR and uh, Tom Izzo and Jim Hoffa and our title sponsor Jeff Feltron have filled those shoes. This year it will be Paul. He's been very gracious. He's given a lot of his time and talent, not just to the event, but to the foundation generally. He's done it since the inception of the organization and 
we're honored to have him as our champion this year. We're talking about Utuma's Foundation for the Kids, and we're talking about the big fundraiser, the yearly fundraiser that's coming up. It includes golf at Oakland Hills Country Club, which is probably worth the the whole package right there if you get a chance to play that historical course. But I, you mentioned Tom Izzo, but the auction item in featuring Tom Izzo's team was not mentioned, I don't think. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, you're right. I guess in uh, rattling those items off, I forgot to mention Tom, and I shouldn't have because that's traditionally our biggest package. Uh, Tom Izzo will take two people on the team plane to an away game. You watch the team practice, watch the game from behind the bench, stay with the team at the hotel, and fly back on the jet. It's a phenomenal package if you're an MSU fan or even if you're a basketball fan. You don't have to be a Spartan to appreciate the gifts and talents of Tom Izzo. It's a great opportunity to get involved at the real courtside level. Norman Yatuma, you do great work, and uh, it's it's a fitting memory to your father. Uh, let's hope that this year is double successful as last year, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, John. And if I can, 888-987-KIDS if people want to register for Saturday's dinner or Monday's golf. 888-987-KIDS. Great. Thank you again. Thanks so much. And tomorrow.